Good morning, folks. We've got several pieces of eye candy today, and I'm glad to see most of you liked our special video on Mars last night. We've also got an excellent paper on climate forcing and one on Nova Astronomy that will ring true for many observers. But let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the break from flaring has continued. We have a few small sunspots, but also some good-sized plasma filaments. Those are the bigger eruption threat at the moment, especially with the primary activity over the last day being found with those filaments. One sent its plasma back into the corona, while the one nearer to the south polar crown snapped this morning. Eyes on these plasma structures today, as a few are in Earth-facing position. There was also a pretty large eruption off the far side of the sun. It's the same active region that previously made the X-class flares while on this side of the star, now pounding out ejections towards the other side of the solar system. Let's go next to the furthest star ever detected, in a mega-lensed galaxy. They say one of the stars they see shatters the record for furthest one actually singled out and identified. They've named it Arendelle, which I'm pretty sure is where the elves live. Last night we put out the video showing how magnetic hotspots on Mars are geometrically identical to geographical features, but they don't overlay each other, hinting at a possible crustal shift. And many of you, many of you, asked about the Giza pyramid geometry. Folks, is this just a coincidence? I don't know. And if it isn't, I have no idea what it would mean, but since so many of you asked, there you go. On to the science discoveries. First one here looks at solar forcing of rainfall over India. It's exactly what every other deep look into the topic has found, that there is a correlation between space weather extremes and precipitation extremes, especially with respect to the monsoons. Last but not least, an excellent look at recurrent nova events, which can be studied in detail prior to their eruption since astronomers know they're going to go boom again. Here they detect significant darkening before their eruptions, and this drop in optical brightness is precisely what would be expected if the nova shell is building beforehand. Alien civilizations nearby would get their version of the sun turning black as sackcloth before the great flash. We greatly appreciate your support. Resources are below in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.